welcome back to the blue comment 805 channel so in, la in last last video we talked about motivation on how to how to keep pushing forward guys because losing motivation really sucks but yeah i keep on pushing forward so today's video is gonna be the unboxing and also overview of what comes in the, in the aeromotive 340 lph pump and also unboxing it as well so we can go ahead so we can go like if you're unboxing this like what what comes in this what am i getting out of here what is it for what what what's the application for would it fit in a stock box so let's go over that so two guys just to mention today's video is gonna be a little different i usually do like a vlog style holding hand you guys see me and all this but today's video is gonna be a kind of a pov so i'm gonna have you guys on the gopro on the head strap so we can do this together so all right catch you guys right now well all right you guys you guys are on the head cam this feels very weird for you guys. So on today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Aeromotive 340 pump. That's also E85 compatible. It says right here. So if you want to get your Fox and get closer to running E85, here it is, one step closer. All right, so I'm going to get my knife real quick to cut this open. Real quick. Well, I can't really see that much, so. There it is. Alrighty then. So let's see what's in the box. Apologize for my room being a little messy. Alright, let's go. This is when it's in the box. You immediately get greeted with the with the carp sticker that you put on your car. This is optional, guys. Like no one's no one's gonna no one's gonna check your tank. Like I usually just chuck these, but if it's something that like. The cops are gonna give you a hard time and yeah, put it on your car, but California especially since everyone's always always getting stay at graft and a whole bunch of carp stuff and stuff. Yeah, but me personally I'm not gonna run this. Just I don't like stickers on my car. If you go, if you go on my car personally, you're not gonna have any stickers. So here are the instruction manual. There's gonna be something brief in the instructions. I'm gonna do a video in the future about how I install this in depth on how to do it on a Fox body because I did do research myself. It's a pretty simple to install pump, but it's always nice to have a video and be like, oh, this is what this guy did. Yeah. So in the box, you get one filter, fuel filter, sock. And remember, guys, each sock for every pump varies, bro, because we tried, I tried letting my friend borrow the sock that was on my pump. Or my new the new pump that I had that I gave to James, and so you can put on his pump, but it was too this was slightly just small, too a little bit too small to fit on his car, so I had to give him my pump so he can have his car running. I call this a little koozie, cause <laughs> kind of is a little koozie for the fuel pump, but I'm assuming this is like supposed to be, supposed to work like a isolator, so it just isolates the noise of the pump. I'm not really quite sure yet, but that's what I'm assuming. That's what we did on my homie's homie james's car when we installed it sorry I didn't, if i didn't install the install that video install no sorry about that install didn't show the install of that pump but we wrapped the we wrapped this little foam piece around the fuel pump this to i don't know we just threw it on they just like yeah it, it came with it so let's just put it on i know some people run it without so i wonder I, i'm curious to see see the difference of the difference of how loud they are because it is a, this is a stealth pump by the way if i didn't say that it says on it says on here as well and also here are your little hose clamps that you'll need and also some fuel pumps come with s hoses but this one doesn't have an s hose this one just has a straight hose so it's gonna line up perfectly with exactly where the where the fitting needs to be so it's gonna be like probably like this this long the hose so you're probably gonna have to cut it in half but each car is different each way you want to route it just cut it however you want. And also, this is E85 compatible, this hose. Remember, don't use any other hose. Don't reuse your hose. But if you plan on running E, use the E85 capable. And also, here it is. Here's the Jimmy right here. Be careful with this, guys, because this thing is plastic. The fuel pump, not the actual fuel pump itself. It's all brushless, brush, brushes of the motor. But this little, the little nipple. For where you connect that the hose and also here's a connector too that aeromotor supplies for you for quick quick disconnect of the fuel pump but we're not running this because this is an intake setup you can't this this can be really handy in a situation where you want to hardwire your pump this is where i can see this really handy but for us i'm not going to run it like this for today 
I'm just gonna utilize the stock system of how how it was and how the car was meant to be. So be careful when you guys pull this out, guys. Make sure you got it from the bottom and pull pull back and then pull pull up. Make sure you don't damage this piece. Make make sure we expect this. Make sure there's no cracks. And here it is, guys. The aeromo the aeromotive stealth pump. It's black. It's pretty. It's like a good chunk of weight I measure it's like five pounds pretty big and I'm not saying you can, this is the biggest fuel pump you can put in your car but like to do no modifications to your fuel to your fuel hanger at all this is probably the biggest you can probably fit I've seen people do 450 pumps in their car using the realizing the stock hanger but do it do it do at your own risk guys that that method requires doing zip ties or or um what is it what are they called again can't take a thing of it these but bigger i'm having the main brain for it right now hose clamps there it is like big hose clamps you have to wrap around the pump in the hanger just to make it sit right but here it is guys here's the overview this is what comes in the box as you can see it's pretty standard guys so you got your pump fuel fuel sock hose Isolator, card legal sticker, little extraction pamphlet, and warnings and warnings and hazardous of chemicals. Hose clamps, and also another another connector. If you wanted to haul wire this into the wiring, so you can have a quick disconnect. But yeah, here it is, guys. I hope I have a video, guys, installing this. Today, in this video, I just wanted to focus on just unboxing and show you guys what's in this box and how the unboxing package is because I don't have any relations with Aeromotive. I know Aeromotive is a well known brand. I run their fuel pressure regulator on my on my car on the fuel rail. It does pretty good. But here it is, guys. And also, I will show you a broken one that I have that I'm going to see if I can, fi I, I can fix, but... I, I think I can probably fix it. I wouldn't run it, but I'll probably use the pump for like something else for like pumping not fuel. Maybe fuel, but not like running it into my car. But just seeing what the what that pump can be in the future and not putting it into the car. Because if I put it in my car, it's gonna have all kinds of issues. I might be chasing something while my car is always missing or something. But yeah, here it is guys. Oh and also guys, I forgot wanted to mention up on this. How you would install this in your in your fox, how I would do it, or I'm gonna do it. I see I see other people utilize this. And then put it in their tank. Because what's the point of connecting this and having all this excess cable in your in your fuel tank on the hanger? Because the fuel hanger is only like yay big. And you're not gonna be using that. That's too much wire to have in here. So I well what I'm gonna do what we did on my friend's car, James. We just snipped the wires from right here. We measured you always make sure to measure twice, guys, before you start cutting. Either it be wiring or wood or anything. Always measure twice and cut once. So you don't have a big headache of, of cutting too short and then you only measured once and then you have no more cable and you have to buy everything all again and you start from the beginning. So make sure you guys do that. And also leave yourself just a little bit of error guys. And also a little bit of excess too because you are going to have to strip strip the wire as well and also put it into the connector and connecting the two cables from the hanger to the pump. And you want to make sure you have a good connection that's not going to break at all. Alright there, and also too, I did show you guys, I wanted to show you the broken one. So here is, I wrote broken on it, so I know that this is the broken one. When I had both of the pumps at the same time, because having both of the pumps can be confusing. So you have to label them, make sure you have the right box, because I don't want to come back and get the other box. So this is the good box, so I'll probably put like a it's good right here, or I'll just leave it blank now that I know that's the good pump. So here's the broken one, so I'll show you exactly, exactly what, what I got when I first got this. So the same thing, here's the isolator, sock, the other connector, hoses, and you see this guys? This isn't supposed to be here, and you guess is where this goes? Right on here. <laughs> Does this thing look right? <laughs> so, good pump, bright, basically brand new pump, but came damaged and shipping this thing came one of those one of those baggies not in a box itself it would have came in a box it would have been fine completely fine but no it was in a baggie 
but so let me show you guys how this is supposed to, how this this is supposed to go it's supposed to look exactly like that you see how there's no crack or anything Oop. there's that <laughs> but just to show you guys that's what i want to see if i can be able to basically put this back together just to plastic weld this back together and use this to basically to like basically to either suck out fuel or pump car pump fuel into other cars or use this just as a water pump basically essentially what i can basically use this for to suck out water but i don't know even the comments what, what i should do with this but yeah i just wanted to show you guys since i since i told you guys about this and also best customer service when i got this I told I emailed them my my situation and how well this came broken it came damaged they asked me if I was responsible but now I was completely to the shipping company and they understood that and they gave me they sent me all a new one the next day and I got it within two days so best customer service right there but that pump didn't fortunately go into my car it went to my homie James's car but I'm happy his car is running and it's running way better with the fuel pump he doesn't have to worry about fueling in the future. Because he is playing something crazy. I'm not going to say what, but it's going to be crazy, guys. So stick So stick around to watch that video. Well, alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching today's video of unbo the unboxing and overview of the 340 pump by Aeromotive. I hope this I hope this information was useful for what comes in the pump. Because I'm I'm pretty sure there will be some people. Because I was one of those people searching up what's what, what comes in this box. I'm sorry if today wasn't this video wasn't about stats or anything. I'm not well kept to be known as that. The only thing I can tell tell you a fuel pump is less. This fuel pump was around 144, I believe. And for fueling wise, a stock stock 5.0 only needs like only requires I believe like only a hundred, hundreds, hundred fifty, hundred fifty lph. But if you want to go create, if you want to go not crazy but like moderate not worry about fueling for a while if you're all all motor na with simple bolt-ons i recommend going with the 255 unless you want to go overkill and just plan everything in advance in the future when i will boost it nitrous or anything have all the fueling go with the 340 you won't you won't regret it the 85 compatible so one step closer to e you just need hose you just need an fittings to the tank that's 85 compatible and you're set to go full 85 and then you can get that tune because that's one thing I want to do to my car is go 85 and see if there's some performance gains on maybe 5 horsepower since it's NA. But we'll see. Alrighty guys, thank you guys for watching, viewing today's video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Like, like comment, and subscribe. Like always, next to see you, again. See you guys next time.